At Purdue, the Boilermakers were seen as Ohio State's top challengers and hoped to earn a Rose Bowl invitation. The black and gold's hopes rested on the right arm of their Heisman hopeful quarterback, Mike Phipps. Mike Phipps was considered one of the Heisman hopefuls going to that season on a very short list. A Big Ten Heisman hopeful made history in the second week of the 1969 season when number eight Purdue marched into South Bend and upset the Fighting Irish 28-14. Quarterback Mike Phipps became the first Boilermaker signal caller to beat Notre Dame in three consecutive seasons. As the calendar turned to November, the Big Ten title picture was coming into focus. Ohio State sat in the driver's seat, undefeated and ranked number one in the country. Michigan and Purdue each had only one conference loss and a meeting with Ohio State still on the schedule. Purdue had first crack at the Buckeyes. Mike Phipps and the 10th ranked Boilermakers marched into the horseshoe and were promptly sent packing by the scarlet and gray defense. I just think we had a better team, you know, and uh, we had a great game plan and, and we made some big plays. Uh, defense made big plays. Ohio State pummeled Purdue 42-14 to move to 8-0 on the season, with only the Wolverines standing between them and another national championship. Purdue went on to finish the season at 8-2, and Phipps finished second in the Heisman Trophy balloting behind Oklahoma running back Steve Owens. 